are you I looking at? Can I just ask a quick question? Yeah, quick question. We ask have away. This, this nice, comfortable chair here. Yes, yes. And this is kind of, I don't really know what to make of this. Uh, I mean, what, do you, what do you actually... What do you mean? I think that's a very nice chair. Well, that I mean, was in nice my apartment looking. for like four years. This oh, was a how good... kind of you to bring it to us. It's yeah. just a little, I'm not quite sure. I kind of want to face you, but then I'm here. I'm not sure what to do. It's your choice as an actor. You make a choice and you stick with it. I and look some, what my chair does. I need some direction. Look but you go up and down. Woo! See? It goes down. I can't do that. This actually, I, I hit this lever once accidentally during an interview and it fell and I didn't know it and then I was just like this the rest of the time. Well, that's good. This <laughs> desk like, is, it looks much, uh, much smaller than I thought. It stays small. Everything's, so what if I was just this the whole time? Hey, Joaquin, what's up? What's yeah, up? everything's really small. It's yeah, like okay. the Dorf on Golf video. So how are you? Doing really good. Thanks you, for uh, you, um, you seem thrilled to be here, which is cool. Uh, <laughs> I know you don't <laughs> love these shows. Totally sarcastic. Yeah, it's great. No, um, I'm curious about something. We're going to talk about Buffalo Soldier in just a second, but you just finished shooting for like six months on a movie that's about firefighters where you had to pretty much train to be a real firefighter. Yeah. Which for a lot of people, like, you know, a lot of kids growing up, that would be like a cool, fun thing to do. I used to love firehouses when I was a kid. I used to thought, like, it would be cool to go down the fire pole. Did you do that? Well, I majored in cowardice at Cal State, so really? I okay. wasn't really built for that kind of thing. I'm, right, right. I meant to sit in a rocking chair and like smoke a pipe and that kind of thing. Right, right. So I, I go down there, and yeah, it was the first thing to do. Kind of, you're a firefighter, you gotta you know slide down the pole. And I got up there and I looked down, and I was like, I can't do that. You're crazy, because it's I'm certain that you land and your feet just go up into your torso, and then you, <laughs> with, and then you like, walk around yeah, like in a cartoon. I'm not kidding. It's very scary. You yeah. look down, it's very scary. So. Yeah. Um, it's just so humiliating. I knew this was going to happen to me. I, I, they had to, uh, they got a ladder and they put it next to the pole and I went up like three rungs and like slid down. I was, <laughs> I was very proud of myself. And then they I, gave you a cookie, you know? I, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Yeah. And then I went up five rungs right, and I, right. I finally made it to the top and that was really amazing. I felt triumphant. Now you actually had what, what, what was, you, you actually got into a situation where you were mistaken for a real fireman and you had to try and come to the rescue. Is that true? Yeah. Well, not the rescue, but <clears throat> I'd gone down to the firehouse and the guys had gone on a run. I missed them. I was with one of the kids in the movie about Sargetti. Mm -hmm. And these uh, undercover cops came up and they said they needed help with the forcible entry. And they didn't recognize you guys? They... No, well, we're in our blues and, right, you right. know, we're at the firehouse. And, and so I said, yeah, sure thing, you know. And I'm going, well, what the hell are we going to do? So I run, I grab this huge battering ram. It takes like six people to, to do it. Yeah. And the cop looks at it and he's like, you're not going to need that, man. You probably just take a halligan, which is a, a tool that they use, like a large crowbar. Right. So we went down there and we go to the door and they point out the door and... We have no idea what to do. We don't know how to open this Did you tool. have this tool? We this had halligan? this tool. We were holding it. We looked good. Yeah. We just didn't know. <laughs> that's all. That's nine tenths of it, isn't it? For the movie, but yeah. here we are, real life. We got to open right. this door. Right. So we so we worked at this thing, and honestly, it was like 15 minutes, and the, and the cops were just they were out and out laughing at us. Like there was there's nothing more you could do. So I mean, I tried everything, and I did the kind of shoulder thing, and I literally bounced off the door and <laughs> went down the stairs. Because I've always thought. That, I've seen it in the movies, but when you really, every time I've run up against a door and put my shoulder to it, nothing happens. So you tried that as yeah, well? Yeah, I've tried it together. I'm always trying to break into women's rooms and, you know. <laughs> Move nice. on. Let's, it's your story, no, not mine. Let's go yeah. on to another. I know. It started getting dark and I was uncomfortable yeah. and this right. should be fun. You right. told me it was going to be a fun show, right? Exactly. I tried. I tried to get the band playing a good music up front and I they played the was March going of the really Elephants. Good. They... <laughs> I well, like that. That was very quick how you did the marching elements thing. I like that. Oh, good. Thank yes. you. I'm yeah. always trying. I'm always killing time out here. I want to, let's talk about, in Buffalo Soldiers, you shot this uh, Buffalo Soldiers in Germany. Mm -hmm. And one thing, I got to go to Germany once for like a day on business, and I really always wanted to go on the Autobahn. Did you get to drive on the Autobahn? Conan, that is just so funny that you asked me that. <laughs> You know, are you reading? Do you have an Autobahn story? Do you read my mind? Do you have an Autobahn story? I have an Autobahn story. Oh, this is crazy. Can you believe it? This is amazing. I, I don't know how you do it. That is weird. It's almost as if someone called you yesterday and you talked. It's like I had a pre-interview or oh, something. Oh, wow. I don't know how you do it. You know what? You're well, gifted. You're gifted. It's a gift. It's you a don't gift. question it. Don't it's question it. It's beautiful. Use it. Take Things advantage of it. Things come to my it. mind and I ask. It's so, great. the Autobahn. <laughs> yeah. Well, now it's not, now it's like totally anticlimactic. I can't tell the story. I mean, this whole bit was much funnier. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, what a well, great I, way to get out of telling a story. No, I tell, you're a very crafty I tell guy. A little bit yeah, of yeah. the story. Well, I was just always excited about the Audubon because there's no rules. I just thought it was fantastic. You there's no the speed drive. limit there's, at all, right? Yeah, there's no speed limit. And um, and then I I did it and I was driving on it and. It was the most terrifying experience I've ever had in my life. I thought, like, this should be illegal. Right. Well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and, yeah. and I guess it is here, but yeah. they're, they're totally cool with it. But it's like, it's, it's so strange because you have to be like a Hawkeye. You have to see your exit a mile in advance, or else it, you're going so fast they kind of look up and you're like, is that a sweet, okay. And then it's, <laughs> and it's gone right, right. and that's it. And right. so I kind of just, I kind of gave up on the whole exit thing at some point and we basically, <laughs> We just kept driving because <laughs> your brakes don't like after 300 miles an hour, the brakes aren't going to really do anything. You know right, what I mean? Right, you're going right. that speed, right, they kind right. of just go like, you know, mate, you're on your own. <laughs> I, I have English brakes, by you the have way. British yeah, brakes. They're British yeah. brakes. You need so, German brakes. No, you want no, They must stop brakes. now. No. But I, I don't know. I think that the uh, I think the exits just kind of launch you into space or sure, something. Sure, yeah. I, I don't think it actually goes down. It's kind of a. I don't even want now. I don't want to go and try it. It sounds too frightening to me. I like 55. I'm not kind of guy. I know. Guy. Just nice and easy, leisurely. You're taking the sights a little bit. Put on not, cruise this control. Is like, yeah. You know, it's terrifying. Yeah. So. Should well, I favor this area now? And I liked or, it when you were looking at me. Yeah, but, you, all right, look out at them. Oh no, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna favor this area. Whoa, whoa, what's this mean? What's the big red thing? It says red. Hey, let's shoot that. That's the red wrap that I get. Hey, look at this angle right here. Doesn't this look like a cool album cover? Joaquin and I made an album. Look hard, do your hard look. Do the hard look. What's that? Do, the, do a hard look. Do, okay, wait, just turn away from me for a second. Right. Close your eyes. Now, yeah. when I call your name, yeah. just give me your hardest look. Yes, sir. Okay, Conan. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, did I just? Say Sorry. <laughs> yes, you did just say that. Yeah, you I love that. You can't say that. Hey, come on. We can do anything when we want. We rule the night. Nice, nice. You know, we have to show this clip uh, from Buffalo Soldiers. We have a clip here from Buffalo Soldiers. But which they said that I didn't have to lead it. You don't in have to. Yeah, I, don't I get the word. Do Joaquin doesn't stuff. want to set it up, so I'll set up the clip. Yeah, set it up. Here's what we. Uh, I was in Buffalo Soldiers, and uh, <laughs> I'll be you. And I play this scheming soldier. I'm always scheming, kind of like a Bilko character. And Ed Harris is my uh, commanding officer. He doesn't know what I'm up to. Here's a clip of me trying to scam him. Uh, what is this? What have we here? I do some requisition, sir. 1,000 gallons of mop and glow. My God, do we really need that much? Well, cleanliness is next to godliness. How do you do, man front? How are you? Doing just fine, doing just fine. So we do some business today? Sure thing, guys. I think you'll be pleased. Look at the sparkle. That's real cleaning power. It's a good chaser, yeah? See, we'll try some in for it. U.S. Army's finest. 500 gallons ready to go. You're a bad man. Right. Buffalo Soldiers opens tomorrow in select yeah. cities. Right. Expanding further in the uh, in the weeks ahead. Yeah. Do you know what? Yes. Do they have to beep out the shisa? No, no, no. Even it's German for the bad word? Is that, or are they cool with that? German for what? We'll be right. <laughs> That's all right. No, take care. No, we'll take care of the whole thing. You're gonna, I have, you're gonna make I have so much power clean. over late night television that that's, I can, yeah, America will accept it tonight because I say so. You know what? You. It was very cool having you here. Done. Thanks, Thanks. That was great. Joaquin Phoenix, Scott Thompson coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.